Hey guys, welcome to Wild Company and I. Today is the weekend after what was supposed to be the bushcraft show and lavery fest and Dave Woods from Wild uh, Knowledge Mart has done an online lockdown lavery fest so as part of that I thought that I would do a, a rundown video of the lavries and different types of lavries I have and the modified ones and It'll be good to show what I've done to each lavery and how they differ from the original one, etc. So, the plan is I'm going to put up my original size 3 and then put up my modified size 2 and show you some comparisons in space and size as well as functionality. Okay, I brought you in slightly closer so I have to show you the differences in pack size and weight. Uh, as I said, this here is a modified size 2 Lavu. Uh, it has a skirt, a sewn in door, and a ground sheet, as well as a snow skirt. So, all together, including the web and the D rings, the buckles, and all. This has been just slightly over 7kg, including the extra poles and the 6 inch ground spikes. Uh, so, pretty hefty. Not something to be carrying very often, to be honest. More for close to the car camps, etc. And this is an original size 3. It's not folded nice and tight, so it's not. But as you can see, size wise, it's about half the size. And again, it weighs about half the same weight. So, this is a size 3. Both have original poles still. Uh, if you want to go a bit lighter, you could get rid of the original poles and pegs and go, when you go out you could get yourself a, a branch etc to make yourself a centre pole or a bipod as well indeed, which we'll talk about later. So first of all, this one here can sleep two adults with the centre pole comfortably with plenty of space. Same as this, this one here. Uh, the two adults will be slightly closer together and there'll be less space for kit but not less can sleep three adults. This can sleep three adults uh, without a centre pole or depending on what kind of air mat you have or how tall you are, three adults with a centre pole. Uh, so in all honesty the extra weight gives you more comfort rather than functionality. It doesn't actually give you any more people to sleep in it but it's still a nice touch. This here is an ammo can stove. Again, I put it onto an old LK35 frame for ease of carrying. Uh, this is about 8.5kg, so this here would be about 15-16kg combined, which is ridiculously heavy. But it's a nice winter solution, so it is if you're not too far from your camp. Okay guys, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to time lapse. Uh, erect in both these tents just to speed up the video and make it not an hour half hour video hopefully. Uh, if you do like to see an original Lavu being erected and uh, I should, a method of erecting it is easy for one person, uh, like and subscribe and you'll see one of our videos not in the near future you'll see that video. I'll upload it separately so
I thought it would be appropriate to explain the difference in setting up this here Davu compared to the original. The original, you just peg it out, put up the pole and adjust the pegs uh, for the level of the ground and tension accordingly. Quite simple. This one here, because it has a skirt in it and the ground sheet, you want it to be equidistant from the centre for all the all the edges. First of all, to keep the topness of the tent uh, is a lot harder the higher up the tent goes, so keeping it squared is helpful and also so the ground sheet fits uh, inside the lavu. So what I do is a simple way, lay out the ground sheet because around the day you have to peg out like I've done here, put two two pegs at each corner, one for the skirt and one for the webbing and then I put the skirt, peg skirt around that air, put the centre pole, adjust accordingly and then web out the tension straps. I think this, this here skirt, sorry, is a three quarter skirt, or sorry, three quarter grind sheet with a, a, an extra quarter attached. With an extra quarter, uh, I fold it slightly shorter. That allows you to have an inner porch when you come in for your feet. And also you can remove this quarter totally if you're having a fire inside your lavu. And of course, the whole grind sheet can be left at home if needs be, which is a nice touch. If you're leaving the grind sheet at home, the way I worked out, I stole this idea from a larger bell tent, a lot more expensive bell tent, was to a string that you know is the centre point to your pegging point, and you can just peg this in the middle and go around, marking all your pegs and put your pegs in at this length as you can, and that will allow you to keep your, your walls equidistant from the centre and get a nice, uh, quick setup. Okay guys, we're all set up for the Lockdown Labby Fest, Northern Ireland edition. Uh, we have a size 3 unmodified Labby inside out <laughs> and a size 2 modified Labby. So first of all look at the size 3. So the size 3 is set up with the centre pole and inside it if I show you on the inside of it a camp bed if you look at that, at that far end there you'll see the camp bed's actually cut 3 or 4 inches short this was done for our camper van but as you can see there's plenty of space at either end so it could easily take a full size camp bed and if you see there as well that's at the back end of the pole so you could have the same again on the front of the pole so you could. Then this is the modified lavu. I have it currently with the snow skirt facing out. So this snow skirt is currently it's stitched to the bottom of the actual side skirt. This is wax canvas, this is a, a PVC, like the side the kind of stuff you put inside the curtain side lorries. And it can go this way, or it did. You can just fold it in. The good thing about folding it in is you can fold it in below your ground sheet, which gives you a nice basin effect. Any water run below will run below your ground sheet rather than actually run in. So it gives you both options. You can have it's out of the way to cover in dead way or snow if it's windy or you can just tuck it in below to make sure the water stays out. Both ways work quite effectively. Uh, put the patch at the very top here. A D-ring for suspending it and we'll add it in a zip. So the zip works two, two ways. The zip can open up like so and like so, leaving the skirt intact. 
or you can zip up this skirt here, open this belt up, and slap the whole side open for easy access. As I mentioned before, on the inside, there's a three quarter ground sheet. It needs just be, to be realigned to us with the snow skirt. And what you do is you flick the snow skirt in and you put the ground sheet at the top of it and that gives you a bucket attack effect. This quarter here uh, leaves you a section here, down here, where you can actually get in and out with your feet uh, if it's wet and you don't soak the whole ground sheet. Uh, another nice feature is when it's a nice weather is you can remove these two pegs like so and that allows you to flat back the full door and give you massive open access to your tent which is really nice in the warm, warm water so it is. The sun's not going to play ball today guys, so it's not, but basically we have the ability to put down here two camp beds similar to similar to the size 3 unmodified side by side like that as you can see more than enough room you can actually see how the skirt makes some difference to livable space because this here wall would be pegged out here so you can see there's easily 60 inches and that's the size 2 space and of course you can have one at the other side as well, because you can have two airbeds in here, mat in here, and of course the amount of space you have up both sides for extra storage. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the the review of the Labus. As I say, I have record another video for this one here where I've actually put it up real time and showed you how to peg it out and erect it in real time. I'll upload that separately so if you want to know that I are subscribed to the channel and that I post it up in the next few weeks as well. So big thanks to David Miltimart and please if you're watching this video and you'd like to donate to Click Sergeant for the chosen charity for this event That'd be wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions regarding the modified lavoo or the original lavoo please drop a message or drop a comment below and I'll try and answer it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.